Now in our next four Excel magic tricks, we're going to see how to calculate total commissions when the data and the lookup table are set up in different ways. So for the first one, we want to do lookup multiplying to calculate total commissions by sales rep from a cross-tabulated sales table. So this is cross-tabulated because we have a variable down the row and across the column. And we have a two-way lookup table. Now most of the time, you do not get sales data in a cross-tabulated table. You get it in a proper data set. But with Microsoft 365 Excel, this turns out to be a simple problem to solve. And it's a simple problem to solve because the product names are in the same order in the sales table and the lookup table. So over here, we can use the filter function and the array we want, all the sales, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4 to lock it, comma. Then in include, we need to build a column of trues and falses. So I select the sales rep column, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4. And then we ask the question, hey, are any of you equal to Joe as a relative cell reference? Close parentheses. Now when I Control Enter and move it down here temporarily, there's the two records for Joe. Now notice 1, 2, 3, 4. If now we can just look up the four commission rates for Joe, we just multiply, and there's all the commission amounts. Control Z, F2 times, and XLOOKUP has no problem looking up an entire row. So we're going to look up Joe, comma, look up array, 1, 2, 3, 4 rows, F4 to lock it, comma, and return array. Because lookup array has four rows, return array better have four rows. But we can give it as many columns as we want. Because when it finds a match for Joe, it'll just return the correct commission rates from this row, which is filled with four columns. F4 to lock it. Close parentheses. Control Enter. Move it down here. Those are all the commissions for Joe. Control Z, F2. Now we just put this inside of sum. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. In the last cell, F2. We're verifying that the locked cell references and relative cell references are all working. Now the old school method wasn't that much different. We use sum product, check the column of sales rep, and then use the whole cross tabulated set of numbers times. And when we looked up a row, we used index and match. All right, next video, we'll see how to do the same formula with a proper data set. All right, we'll see you next video.